Our next film is called Louie Bluey, a slim but affectionate documentary tribute to two old blues men, Howard Armstrong and Ted Bogan. Armstrong is nicknamed Louie Bluey, and here he is performing. <laughs> Fabulous. Could listen to that all night long. Howard Armstrong is a multi-talented man, though, we learned. He also has created over his lifetime some amazing folk art drawings. To get my brushes, I pulled the hairs out of a cat's tail and jam, put them in a quill, you know, goose quill, and made me a bracelet. There wasn't a cat in that neighborhood like me. Then the first time that I saw it rain on some crepe paper, it solved my problem. I saw that uh, dye running out of the paper, you know, in the rain. All colors, you know. And then I got me some scraps of crepe paper and squeezed it out in a bottle. Then I had me some nice ink to paint with. That's absolutely inspirational, I'm sure, to that young child, and it is to me, too. Louis Bluey didn't set me afire, but it did remind me of our nation's great jazz heritage, and I was absolutely hooked by those drawings as much as the music. I did want to meet this Howard Armstrong. He seemed like a fabulous man, and I finally did. And you know what? He's almost as interesting in person as he is on that film. And I mean that as a compliment because his performance quality, as you can see there, is absolutely terrific. This is a guy you want to know and the film lets you get to know him. He is a fabulous person and we didn't really see Ted Bogan there who is yeah. his partner, but he is interesting in his own way. He's right. kind of the deadpan partner. They've right. got this relationship that's been going, I think, for 60 years. And I want to tell you something about this film. Every once in a while in life, you walk into a situation and you look at it and you say, I wish I were a film director because this is a movie. And I want to tell you something. 16 years ago, right here in Chicago, at the Earl of Old Town, the famous folk music club, I went in there and I saw Martin Bogan and the Armstrongs, which is the original name of this group. Right. And I went back every Monday night for a year and a half, and I kept saying, there's a film here, there's a film here. And then I went to see this movie, Louie Bluey, and I didn't even know who it was about. And it right. started, and it was Howard Armstrong, and I thought, somebody has finally got this guy down on film, right. this fabulous American original person. You and I have talked about this before. We have both shown a preferences in the films that we kind of may, would want to make of documentaries. And we know that the real stuff is what all the fiction people are trying to find. That's right. And the real stuff is out there. And a documentary, I know, I'd do the same thing. I'd well, find somebody and make a film about them like that, too. Howard Armstrong and Ted Bogan, two real originals. Four thumbs up for Louie Bluey, the documentary about two unforgettable musicians. And that one, by the way, is playing around the country, city yeah. by city, frequently in concert with Bogan and Armstrong on stage after the movie.